Um, <clears throat> sorry for the late video, um, because the game's already started. Ignore me flaming my team down here. I'm just so tilted that my bot lane just keeps losing. Uh, but this is a small guide on how to uh, beat Riven in lane. Um, I'll most likely combine this video with another Riven video that I made. Um, so, of course, this is on my main account, ranked. Um, And I'll show you how to beat Riven. What you want to do is back off and respect her. Because um, her Q combo on you can do like half your HP in one combo. So you want to stay back. I'm going to try and go for this CS here. Because it's extremely close to me. It depends on if Riven moves forward. If she does, I might back off. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna back off. So if she's she's playing smart as a as a ribbon, if I'm gonna be really honest with you, she knows that she can zone me. Um, as you can tell, the CS is heavily in her favor, but that is okay. You don't need to worry about that. That will normally always happen. I'm actually gonna go for this, by the way. Fuck okay, it, never mind. So when, when you see people do this, just let them hit the tower. If she's going to proxy, let her. Doesn't matter. It's better if she proxies than you. Um, oh, my game frozen. Run, 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 run. Run. I'm only saying that because I think Riven's going there. Riven, Riven. Um, I'm not sorry about that. It's just that I I don't want Riven to get a free kill, and I don't know where she is because I'm not gonna lie. I was look I was too busy talking rather than looking on the mini map. I'm not sure if she recalled. Oh, my game kind of froze here. Okay, so she got an early back. Holy shit, she's got Warhammer already. So I, I'm gonna go for this uh, cannon. Um. I'm gonna stay in, and the reason for that is she can't kill me. I say this as I'm about to die. But what I'm gonna do is let her do this. So. Now what she's done is she's pushed the lane and now I can reset and come back in. So she's pushed the lane because the lane there was actually pushing into her. Um, so I was able to push the lane into her. Sorry, I, I can't even speak. Man. I was able to get the lane to push into me. So this is the reason why we got Futures Market. Um, Futures Market is actually really bad. But I think for Nasus it's actually pretty strong. Because you can get the Sheen Power Spike really early. Which is what I did. Um, especially against hard matchups. Where it's like if you go Glacial Shroud. It's not good for you. Because Glacial Shroud is not going to save you from dying. What you need is damage to fight off the, the Riven. And by... Gun Futures Market, it will allow you to get that early sheen. Even earlier. Um, so now I need to decide what summoners do I want. And don't the, the problem is that she's level 6. And what some Rivens can do is, is they can um, ult you and kill you. So I know Nocturne's bot. So I'm going to go... I'm going to go Ignite. Now, the reason for this is I think this Riven's going to try and fight me. So, if she fights me, I'll have the Ignite advantage. So, like, this is what I'm talking about. She's, she's stepping up to me. I think this is a Riven which is going to be super aggro. So, I'm going to try and force a fight when the next minion wave comes in. Okay, so she, she just used her abilities. So, I'm just going to poke her for free. So I, I know she doesn't have anything. 
So she she lost all of that, and I still have Ignite Flash. And she's dead. Um, the one thing is, she does have teleport. From memory, she does have teleport. So I need to make sure I don't die. Yeah, I knew she was going to teleport to that. So the only problem about this is, I need a back and the lane is pushing. So I'm going to quickly check for fruit, and fruit is here, so I can actually just take this. Now the only problem is, because their jungler is Nocturne, I can just get ulted halfway across the map and die, and lose my lead really easy. Which will be unfortunate. Honestly, I wouldn't even say I'm ahead. I would say I'm actually still behind just due to her CS lead. Um, so this position is really bad because I don't know where Nocturne is. And if he ults, I can die easy. Yes, I'm getting things back. Yeah, see, even this Rex I knows that I can get ganked. Okay, I'm, I'm backing. The reason why I'm backing here... I think this video is much better than my last video, um, which you most likely won't see. Um, the reason why I'm backing here is because this lane should bounce into me. So when the next minion wave comes, which is a cannon, it should bounce into me. And... This is what you have to do. Look, she's got double my CS, but there's nothing much you can do because um, you need to play safe. Um, as long as you see a uh, stack decently, which to be honest, I'm not stacking that well because I have missed a quite a few cannons. Um, but as you can see, the, the lane's bouncing into me and now I have a period of me being um, uh, stacked. So, uh, I'll be able to stack for quite a bit. And um, what the next summon up I'm going to take is uh, Ghost. Because I know she doesn't have flash, so I've got flash advantage on her. Uh, but even if she has flash, it doesn't mean I'll kill her, just due to how Riven is. Because um, she has like four dashes and a stun. Um, so that means I'm gonna take Ghost. It seems my bot. Oh no, my bot's actually going even. I tell my ranks, I'm not gonna lie, I was kind of flaming my team earlier because I'm so sick of my bot lane just losing and it seems as Rex is just camping bot and getting in the head. Um, so now, because I know Nocturne used ult and he just got shellocked, I'm not scared. Um, so, okay, I'm not gonna lie, that's a really bad trade there. So I'm gonna pop. Why is she chasing me? The thing is, I the only thing which can kill me now is. It's not done. So I'm taking Ghost and I'm gonna play extremely aggressive. Okay, not gonna mid. Okay. He's chasing me? Okay, no. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, like. I, I would have killed her, like I'm 100 percent I would have killed her. It's just this this Rex I randomly came top, like I swear to god I would have killed her 100 percent Um in that case if I was scared of dying, which I, I wasn't by the way, um I would have flashed her all. You see this is big brain stuff. By coming here. Okay, this is actually not big brain. Hey, this is actually big brain, look. Easy.
Oh, I haven't really been talking because there's nothing much really to say, if I'm going to be honest with you. Uh, Riven's back, but I think she's she's actually trolling. I'm going to fight her head. So there's her flash. I'll take that. She's got her shield. So I flash all OQ the the maximize damage. Uh, I knew she just used her shield on me, so there was no real thing. Oh, by the way, like even though I I, I killed like Yasuo, I haven't bought anything. So it's not it's not like I've been buying stuff and you know using that to get an advantage. I still have my two items from like ten minutes ago. Uh, Nocturne's bought, so I don't necessarily have to back. Um, Okay. I, I love it when you have low mana and then you level up and then you have enough for a few extra. Oh, she teleported. So I'm gonna get um, Trinity. Normally I'll go Kindle and maximize cooldown reduction, but just I want to snowball my lead. Um, so I'm gonna go heal. Is she actually gonna. No, she so I, I need to wait for my mana. Uh, one of the worst things you can do is not waiting and then you teleport in and you have half mana and then it's like, what's the point? So I'm, I'm just making it look like I'm going for her but I'm not because stacks matter more especially because my early game has been, I've been like on drought for um, actual stacks so she, she she's actually trolling him, um, she's trolling him. And so, when a Riven does that, when your two levels are and you have Trinity for you just kill them. I want to point out that I did solo kill her first before my Rek'Sai even came up. So I got first tower. Um, and I want to keep pressuring top. Um, I see Nocturne parving here. I don't think, yeah, he, will, he won't come top. So again, with the, uh, against champions which have a lot of escape, you always maximize with her. Um, and I'm now going to get Kindle Gem to maximize cooldown. And I'm going to take this as well. Oh, okay. Get vision, get vision, vision, vision. Okay. This Rex I kind of baited me like I thought. I thought thing was doing it. Not then. Uh, I don't see Riven. Maybe Riven rage quit. Wish I wouldn't be surprised as a Riven player. Notice how I still have an LCS to Riven. So. Yeah, I see Callista here. Um, I, I think Riven are cute, question mark? So yeah, I, I, I think the, the Riven has rage quit. Oh, okay, then open please. So, there we go. Um, that's how you win versus Riven. Um, Even my uh, even my uh, so who was that that said? Did if is this is how winning feels like? So he must have had like really bad games recently, which which is to be expected. And by the way, look, look my bot lane they went four four whilst getting camp. Uh, I don't know. Oh, fuck me, man.
uh, only 19 LP. Um, so I hope you liked this video. Um, this is how you beat Riven in lane. Um, I thought I would have got 22 LP. Um, pretty high damage um, for, for the team. And if we look at turret damage, I'm at the top. On top of that, notice how our team took um, quite a lot of um, towers near the end of the game as well. So if I was actually in on that action as well, I would have been much higher. So that's how you win versus Riven. So hopefully this helped you. So yeah, thank you for watching.